A girls basketball coach in Dixon County was pulled from the gym just minutes before his team took the court. Now the sheriff's office is looking into a complaint made by school officials. News Channel 5's Jennifer Reyes just got back from Dixon County. Jennifer, what are the allegations exactly? Well, Vicki, we're not getting any details from school officials or from the sheriff's department. It seems everyone is talking about it, but both departments are, very, are being very careful about discussing this particular case. The Creekwood High School girls basketball team will have to play without their coach tonight during the semifinals. Head coach Tom Molinix was placed on administrative leave last Friday following a serious call to director of schools Dr. Danny Weeks. Last Friday, a, a building administrator notified the central office of a concern that brought the attention that we needed to begin an investigation at Creekwood High School. While they won't go into detail as to what the concern was, school officials wasted no time pulling Coach Molinix from Friday's game. Then they contacted the sheriff's office. I can tell you that we've been working on some things this morning, but it's just in the preliminary stage, and we, we feel based on our procedures it'd be best not to release any names, especially if they're underage, of any potential victims or potential suspects. Molinix has not been charged with a crime. School officials say he's been the girls' basketball coach for 14 years, and it wasn't easy to pull him off the game last Friday. It is unfortunate for the students and the fans and the coach that it happened at that time, uh, but it was a decision we had to make. And Dr. Weeks tells me the school's part of the investigation is now complete. Now they're just waiting for the sheriff's department to finish their part of their investigation. And, of course, we're waiting to get more details. You can check for any updates on our website, newschannel5.com. Reporting from the newsroom, I'm Jennifer Reyes, News Channel 5.